Hello friends, in this video tutorial, let us see the concept of Power BI Data Gateway. Now for the purpose of this video tutorial, what I've done is, I've gone to Power BI Desktop, okay, then basically this is the database SSRS DB. Inside this database, there is a table called Total Sell Table. In this table, there are 11 records, okay. And the, these are the product names, TV, cell phone, laptop and computer, okay. Now observe that for computer there is only one record and it, the value of item sold is one, okay. Now I have gone to uh, Power BI desktop and created a simple report, okay. Simple bar chart based on item sold and product name. So the product names are visible over here, cell phone, computer, laptop and TV. And I have taken the item sold also on, in this particular graph. So we can see that for computer, item sold shown is 1. Okay. Then I have saved this particular file. Okay. And then I have published this report. Now once I publish this report, then it will start appearing over here. Right. So this is the Power BI portal in workspace in reports. This is the report. Okay. Total sale underscore report underscore 3. This is the report that has been published from here okay so once i click publish over here this report is now then visible over here in the workspace as part of the reports okay now the important thing is what if we want to refresh this report okay and what if we want to schedule the auto refresh part for this report then for this we will require a component called in the download section the components are, are available right so for this we will require a component called data gateway okay so how to download it go to this particular link and then download data gateway so once you go to that link this is what will open up right and then you click download gateway so it will prompt you with two options one is personal gateway and second is enterprise gateway so select the personal gateway and download the file that file will be available okay now this is the file on premise data gateway personal mode.exe okay this is the file that got downloaded it is a large file it's it's around 48 mb okay so this is the file that gets downloaded so you double click this file and install the on premise data gateway personal mode okay once this gets installed then it will automatically ask you for the configuration as part of the configuration you need to provide the same uh, same user id there is the same email id and password with the help of which you access the portal you have this portal okay so the user id that you have used to access this particular power bi portal the same user id and password you provide for as part of the configuration for this on premise data gateway personal mode okay once that is installed then afterwards after that installation once you come over here okay once you come over here in the report section and you click this view related okay and you go to settings okay then automatically this will be shown okay online running on my pc okay and which is the type of this gateway it is personal mode okay so automatically it has it will detect that uh, the portal will detect that there is a personal mode gateway that has already been installed okay and it is online okay so you select this this will be auto selected for any reports right any reports that are available for all the reports this will be auto selected so if you go to the first report also this will be the auto selected option for the second report also this is the auto selected option now the important thing is you have to go to data source credentials you have to go to edit credentials and then you have to put the credentials. Once you do that, then only you can auto refresh. Okay. And then uh, after, once this much is set up, you have two options either to refresh manually, that is on click of a, of a link, or you set up the auto refresh at some specific time intervals, either daily or weekly. Okay. So if suppose you want to go for auto refresh on on a schedule then you go over here this is by default off do you make it on you select either daily or weekly and then you provide the time zone if you want you can also add an another time at which you want to do the auto refresh okay 
सो ऑटो रिफ्रेश इज शेड्यूल्ड ओके नाउ वट वॉट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रिफ्रेश दिस पर्टिक्युलर रिपोर्ट ओके सो राइट नाउ इफ यू यू दिस रिपोर्ट फॉर कंप्यूटर टर्म सो लिस्ट वन so let us go to the database table we can see there is only one record for computer and the item so list one so let us make it 10 okay so now the data has been updated at the database okay so let us come back okay let us come back now over here it will keep showing as one okay item so less one so what if you want to refresh it so then you go to reports okay in this case you need to go to the report section total sale go to this particular link view related and this is the link okay now with the help of this scheduled auto refresh option it will automatically get refresh after some specific interval of time but what if you want to see the refresh data right now then you go for this option that is refresh now the data gateway has been configured properly now it will auto refresh so now close it now if you go to the report you can see that now the value has been changed to 10 okay item so let's now become 10 so in this way you can configure the auto refresh as well as on demand refresh options using uh, data gateway for power bi so i hope friends this video tutorial is useful to you thank you